All right, guys, so up to this point, we can add mockers, we can move them around, we can get their, um, their name and their info, but it's all just temporary until the page reloads. All right, so for instance, I can put all these mockers down, I can add them in the form, but when we reload, they're going to go away. So what we need to do is persist this data, and there's a number of um, ways that you can do this. You could use something like uh, MongoDB, um, either a local or remote database, whether it's NoSQL or a relational database. But we're going to use local storage, okay? So it's going to be stored in the browser. Now, uh, what I want to do is first check local storage, and if there isn't any, if there's no mockers in local storage, then I want to just automatically add a couple. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a file called init mockers, and that's going to basically be the initializer. It's going to check local storage. If there's nothing there, it's going to add a couple markers. All right, so let's go ahead and in the app folder, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call it init markers.js, or I'm sorry, ts. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to export a class called init. All right, and that's where everything's going to happen. So in this class, we'll have a function called load, and we're going to check local storage. Okay, and lo the local storage API is pretty easy to use. If you've never used it, what you want to do is just say local storage and dot get item. And that's how you can get an item from local storage. So we're going to check for one called markers. All right, now when you store data in local storage, it's stored as a string. Okay, it has to be stored as a string. And since we're dealing with an array of objects, what we're going to have to do is when we submit them to local storage, we have to turn it into a string. And then when we take them out and we want to use the, the markers as an object, we have to parse them back into JSON back into an object all right so let's check to see if um, local storage markers is equal to null or if it's undefined so local storage dot get item markers and we want to check to see if it's equal to undefined all right, so if either of these are true, then let's do a console.log. And we'll just say no markers found creating. And then what we'll do is create a variable called markers and set that to an array. And we're going to just grab from the component app component, we're going to grab all these markers. All right, so we'll go ahead and cut those out. And we'll paste them in here. All right, and then underneath the array, we're going to say local storage dot set item. Okay, so basically we have get item and set item. So we want to set markers, and like I said, it has to be a string, so we're going to run this through uh, a function called json.stringify. Okay, and then we'll just paste in here, markers. Okay, now for this if statement, I want to, do, I want to add an else to it. All right, because if there are markers in there, then I don't want to do that. I just want to console log. And we'll just say loading markers. All right, so let's save that. And then what we want to do is go to our service, which we don't have, we didn't create yet. So we have to create a service. Uh, let's see. We'll have a folder inside the app folder called services. And let's create a file, and we'll call this marker.service.ts. All right, and just like any other service, we're just going to import our injectable.
And then we also want to bring in that init markers file. So we're going to say import uh, init, which is the class name from, uh, let's see, dot dot slash init markers. Okay, now we'll add the injectable decorator. And then the class. We'll call this marker service. All right, now since we're bringing in the init, we're going to use, we're going to say extends init. All right, now we'll have a constructor. And anything that is uh, any constructor or initialization in that init class we want to, to run. So we're just going to say super. That'll take care of that. And then let's do a console.log. And I just want to say marker service initialized. And then we want to call that load function that's in init. So we'll say this.load. All right, and then we're going to have a get markers function. And let's set a variable called markers, and we're going to set that to the local storage markers item. Now, like I said, it's a string because it's stored in local storage, so we want to parse it back to JSON. So we'll say JSON dot parse, and then in here we'll pass in local storage dot get item markers. All right, and then we just want to return that. So now we should be able to use this in our component. All right, now first thing we need to do here, or the next thing we need to do is import our service. So we're going to go into our app component. Up at the top, let's do import marker service from dot slash services slash marker dot service and then we need to just add that as a provider so we're going to say providers and in here we'll say marker service okay now in order to use it we need to inject it in the constructor so let's do private underscore marker service and then set that to marker service all right, and then this up here, we're going to keep this markers, but it's just going to be just that. We're not going to add data to it. We're going to do that in the constructor. So in the constructor, we'll say this dot markers, and we'll set that to this dot underscore marker service dot get markers. All right, and that'll get them from local storage. So let's save that and let's see what happens. All right, so now these markers here are being pulled in from local storage. And we can see what's in local storage down here. If we go to application and local storage, you can see right here we have our markers key. And then the value is a string. It's an array of objects, but it's formatted as a string. All right, so we know that those are coming from there. Now, if we were to add something here, let me just, um, we'll say lat lawn finder. I just want to grab some coordinates. All right, so I'm just going to say Haverhill Mass. All right, so I'm going to grab these coordinates here. So that's the latitude. And that's the longitude. And we'll say test and map. So it shows up here. Now if I reload, it goes away. Okay. Now the reason for that is we're pulling the stuff from local storage, but we haven't added the functionality where when we add a marker that it goes to local storage. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So in our component, when we do our add marker down here, we just want to add a line here that says this dot marker service dot add marker, okay, which we don't have yet. 
and then we'll just pass in here uh, this new marker object. All right, so now we have to go and create that. So let's go back to our service and we'll say add marker. And that's going to take in a new marker. So what we need to do first is fetch the markers that are already there. All right, so uh, let's see, we'll create var markers and set that to actually we can just grab this exact thing right here. Okay, so we're going to get them, put them into a variable called markers, then we want to push the new one. So we'll say push to array and we'll do markers dot push and let's pass in that new marker. All right, and then finally we want to set the mock set the local storage again. So we'll say local storage dot set item and we want to set markers. Okay, remember it has to be a string, so we're going to say json dot stringify and pass in markers. All right, so now it should go to local storage and it should stick. So let's try it again. I'm going to grab these coordinates. And we'll just call it, let's call it company four. And map, so it shows up and now I reload and it's still there. All right, and you can see company four. So now that's stored in local storage. All right, so we're just about there. The, the last video, we're going to uh, make it so that if we move a marker, if it's draggable and we move it right now, it doesn't stay there. So we need to do that. We also want to be able to delete them. Right now, we have no way to delete the markers. All right, so we'll get into that next.